The Composition and Literary Studies Department has a faculty resources page. You can scan this QR code or visit this link. The faculty resources page is a page within our faculty handbook. You might remember that we had planned a standalone site for faculty resources, but we thought that might be a little too much, so we consolidated it into the faculty handbook. So just remember that the faculty resources page is a page inside the handbook. You can see the faculty handbook here, but in case you don't have the URL right in front of you all the time, or in case you don't have the QR code right in front of you all the time, there's a really easy way to access the handbook and the faculty resources page within the handbook. Just visit ACC's main webpage at austincc.edu, and from there, go to the search bar at the top and type in CLS Faculty Handbook. This takes you to the main page of the Faculty Handbook. Faculty Resources page is just a page within the handbook, and you can find it in the left-hand navigation menu right here. We have the first thing to notice is that we have a table of contents. You can use this table of contents to hyperlink to different sections on the page because it is a pretty extensive page and that might help to kind of zoom down to different portions. These two portions here, these first two items, the info hub and also the My ACC Faculty, these are spectacular resources for you, great places to start because you can link to just about any ACC. Uh, resources, systems, information that you need from those two pages. Here we have faculty resource centers. These are actual brick and mortar centers at the campuses that offer PCs, Macs, and all the various software you might need as a faculty member at ACC. Here is the contact information and uh, the building and room numbers of each uh, resource center on each campus. The departmental syllabi. We have 1301 Composition 1, 1302 Composition 2, and then the literature classes which all share a common departmental syllabus. These are the policies and guidelines that we all must adhere to in our own classes. This is the framework. Now if you look up here we have a Google Drive which is the Faculty Resources Google Drive that has tons and tons of stuff for you there but it's linked right here. If you see this you can click on CLS and it will take you to the that actual folder. Okay, um, You can click on Integrated Reading and Writing and it will take you to their folder. Course resources. These are shared teaching resources. You as a faculty member have access to this. It's also on the Google Drive and you can upload anything you'd like to share and download anything you would like to use. So it's a very collaborative type of idea here and I, and I hope it will serve us well. Let's take a little more time to explore what's available in the Course Resources Shared Drive. Notice if you click on any of the folders here, it will actually take you to that folder in the drive. You can also backtrack using these controls up here. So if you want to see the entire contents of the drive, click Course Resources there. All right, now you can see the structure of the folders. We have it starting with the composition courses, moving through the literature courses, and then culminating with writing resources, grading resources, literature resources, MLA resources, and integrated reading and writing resources. Now keep in mind also that this this is a crowdsourced kind of idea, so it gets better and better and better as you, the faculty member, contribute your teaching resources. Don't hesitate. That is what this is for. And I'm just going to click on a few of these to see what we have there. Here's Composition 2, 1302. Other assignments and activities. It looks like we have lots of folks adding things here. Reading list, that's great. Uh, research assignments, perfect, wonderful. Syllabi, cool. Analytical assignments, great. Let's go to a literature course and see what we can find. 
Let's go to British Literature 1. See assignments, yep, papers, projects, quizzes, tests, exams, great. And I just wanted to mention a couple more things about Google Drives in general. The first is that within this structure you see here, within the course resources folder, you may make your own folders. Because we, we don't know all the different types of resources you will contribute. So you might want to make a, a new folder in any of those top level folders. And the second thing is moving forward, just be cognizant that under the right circumstances, if everything is just right, if you drag a file out of one of the shared drives folders, then that file will disappear. It will leave the drive. It will leave the drive and it will then reside on your drive. So the next person who comes and needs that file won't have it. Just right click and click download. Downloading the file will not displace it. Teaching analysis and critical thinking are among our highest objectives, so this is how to do it. Here are some example assignments and guidelines on how to teach analysis, and here are the, the, both the abbreviated and complete guidelines on how to teach critical thinking. These are frequently used forms, and then right after that is documents. So documents and forms are a little different. The forms are actually forms you will use for certain tasks, like the grade change form, like the uh, incomplete grade form, etc., etc. But documents are more like policy statements. For example, our uh, AI, artificial intelligence tools statement. We have the academic freedom statement and, and many more. Here are three documents that we've included for you to understand sort of the hiring process and eligibility status. Also, this gives you information about uh, multiple semester term assignment positions and uh, highest priority to hire and DCAA. Then you might look at this document. This is dual, the pathways to traditional teaching. If you're a dual credit faculty member, this is how you may teach regular college classes that aren't dual credit. And then we have the amending your eligibility status. It's how to add classes to the list of classes you're eligible to teach. And now we have faculty resource links, and I hope we have included all the links that you need there. There's just about everything. Uh, I hope it's organized pretty well, college, department, and faculty resources here. Um, in addition to that, here's your copy code. It's, it's in several places throughout the guide here. but, but um, Programs, contests, and publications, and technology resources. Hey, check this out. We have wonderful programs. We have honor, the Honors Program. We have the Integrated Reading and Writing Program. We also have Liberal Arts Gateway Program. We have the Great Question Seminars Program. We have spectacular things happening at ACC. Check them out. In addition to that, we have many contests and publications. Check it out. We have a lot of stuff there. This is the Composition and Literary Studies faculty calendar, and if you would like to integrate this into either your Google calendar, so you can look at it online, or your calendar on your actual computer at home, you can use these directions in order to do it, and the, this information here in order to, to make it happen. Technology resources, these are college-wide technology resources, so we have um, if you need to contact the help desk, here's the phone number. If you have, if you need to make a ticket, here here is the link. So just the, mostly everything for technology resources, college wide, will be listed here. Um, here are the the CLS technology resources. These are specific to our department. All the different technology resources that we have and maintain. You may not need them all, but they are there for you nonetheless. And then there's, oh gosh, this is the technology liaison, which just happens to be me, and there's my silly picture, so contact me if you, if you need to update the faculty directory, which is here on our main website. We go to faculty directory, boom. If you want to update any of your information here, I can do that. Contact me if you have any accomplishments that you want to list on our website, like uh, if you've published a book or asked to speak at a conference, etc. Finally, last but not least, the Austin Community College campus locations map. And this is a map that, that uh, 
locates and gives information about ACC campuses, the early college high school campuses, and the dual credit campuses. So you can find them, and it has the codes for each one there, which is a great help. The faculty resources page is a page on our faculty handbook. The faculty handbook is online and available to you at any time. The faculty resources page, if you look over here to the main navigation menu in the left, uh, way over here on the left, you can click on faculty resources right there and it will take you to this page.